Heading up onto Open Wall Angle uh, just to raise awareness for what's going on uh, with the land ownership issues. Um, there's a, a chap called Darwar. He's uh, he's bought some land and he's decided that we're not allowed to wild camp on it anymore, which uh, I think every young local person will know about ten tours and D of E and things like that. I did that when I was young. And now kids aren't going to be able to do it without their schools and the Ten Tours organisation paying huge sums to this individual. <laughs> it's not really on, is it? No. Um, so, yeah, we're here to fight for our right to roam, our right to wild camp on Dartmoor. Well, Pimmer, I was born and raised in Devon. And Dartmoor's, you know, it, we're taught about it in schools. It does have sure. cultural importance and wild camping is a great way to be at one with that. I, I come up, I'm, I'm from Exeter as well, I come up here in Bivy all the time on oh, Dartmoor. Yeah. Been doing it for 40 years and I think we you know, should still have the right to access our, our land. I don't think the privileged few should be able to you know, plough money into it and shoot pheasants on it and abuse the land because that's what's happening. You know, I think we've got the right to roam and we should use it and be allowed to come up here all the time. Nobody's going to stop me coming up on the land, just got to keep using our land because it is our land. And we've got these tiny, tiny little pockets of wilderness. Well, they're not even wilderness, but nature. And, uh, yeah, they're just very precious and you, you, we need it, you know, like access to fresh air, clean water, healthy soil, biodiversity. You just need it, don't you? So, you know, you, you can't bar certain times of the day. If, you, if you're going for a long walk, you might need to bivy down and sleep for a bit, you know. We're here on the March with Right to Rome, and we're going to be camping on the moor tonight. Um, in the middle of January, it's not that cold. I think camping is the most incredible thing. You sort of you go out and you just see, and you're outside with nature, and it just doesn't cause any disturbance. So I don't really see why it should be banned, or agreed upon, or paid for. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm worried that in the future this sort of thing won't really be possible with them. Um, sort of land, land being sort of taken from all different angles and people, yeah, should be able to do what they like and camp where they want. Mm -hmm. And what, what's special about Dartmoor? It's magical. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's, I haven't been here very much, but I love it. I, um, yeah, the moors and the extent of the moors and the mosses and the trees. Uh, yeah, it's really sort of, you feel the folklore.